Hello, it is week two of yard sale Sundays. So let's go ahead and go to some yard sales and in between each sale, I'll show you my haul. Here we go. The first sale I went to this week is actually a sale I go to every year. It's one of my favorite sales and they have lots of different households that participate and there's always tons of vintage items. Uh, one of the first things I saw that I really liked were these Poppin' Fresh pie tins. I think they're from the 1980s and I think they're really cute. And just like I love the bag wall at Savers, there was this big tote full of little bags of junks. And I just love that. Each of the bags, except for this angel, each of the bags was filled with about two or three things and they were like 25 to 50 cents per bag. If you love thrifting and yard sailing, I would love if you'd join me here on my YouTube channel. You can hit that red subscribe button and if you hit the bell, you'll be notified every time I upload a video. I thought this little squirrel was really cute. He wasn't vintage, probably from Target. They had $2 on him. I feel like I can probably do better at another sale. I loved this black and white ironstone. It was very different. It was Johnson Brothers. If the ladies had been closer to me, I probably would have asked them for the price. There was no price on them, but I didn't feel like walking all that way down. And on my ironstone, I'm trying to keep to just plain white, so didn't really fit into my collection. This flower frog caught my eye. It's different than any that I have. I've seen this shape, but they're usually metal, so I thought this was kind of interesting. You'll have to tell me, is this a butter pat? I'm always looking for them, but I feel like I don't really find them. Uh, I don't know. Is that what that is? It had a big chip in it, but I was curious. Today. Five dollar full of baggy clothes. And she it's said, It's not all for me. It's not all for her. I found a couple things for everyone else. She got some things for her sibbies. But there's definitely a lot in here for me. Yeah. This is my favorite sale. Really, I love this sale every single year. Love. Okay, that first sale was fantastic. I am actually back um, at my house. I'm going to film in the car here. It is currently raining. I had to get Molly home. She's no longer with me because she was going to meet 
her boyfriend somewhere. Um, he's running, he's a track person and he was running in an event. So she went to see that in uh, St. Paul, I think. She had to head over to St. Paul. So she took the car and went that way and I'm gonna go ahead and show you my haul. Okay, so that first sale, I mentioned it in the video. I go to this sale every year. I love it. It's, it's one of my favorite sales. But I learned today that the lady told me that they actually um, collect, they raise money for some different charities and they collect items from around the neighborhood and then they have it at this one big sale. So anything you buy there is for charity, which is really cool. So, but they always have such a really wide variety because it's multiple households donating. So it's like a rummage sale really. And I'm sure you saw in the video that the prices are fantastic. So I don't even know where to start. I love everything I got. Um, Let's see. I'll just show you what's on my lap. I got this quirky little thing. I don't even know. It's not soap. At first I thought it was meant to be soap. It's not. It's just like a fake popsicle. <laughs> I don't know. Is this a thing? Fake food? I'm going to put this in my shop just because I thought it was fun and quirky. And it was a dollar. Um, I really just thought it was cool. And if nothing else, I think it'll go nice. And I have like one shelf of my shop right now is like red, white, and blue stuff for the summer. And I thought that would be really cute in that summer display. And maybe someone will want it for their house. And if not, I can keep it and put it in my displays. But I really got it to try to sell it. So, uh, okay. Most of the stuff I got is for me though, including, I don't even know what these are. Some of them I was thinking I would just stick into uh, my fairy gardens. I don't know. I don't even know what this is. It was this bag of stuff for 50 cents. The real reason I got it is because I adore this truck. I don't know. <gasps> it's made in Germany. It's old and it's made in Germany. Oh my gosh. I love this so much. I'm going to put this in my own personal uh, summertime displays, but I thought it was so cute. I don't know why there's yarn on it. I'm, I'm hoping that is that holding it together? I don't know, but it does say made in Germany and then Germany and it has some other word, which I cannot read. And again, I have been gardening um, incessantly, so I really try to scrub my nails for you guys. I need to try the soap trick. One of you told me, rub soap on your foot, but I always forget. I'm terrible. Anyway, so this, that is why I got the bag, but then it also had some interesting things, which I think I'm just going to stick in my fairy gardens um, or put in my junk jar, which I now have, thanks to Vintage Vinny. He, it's just this big jar that I bought, and I just put cool old things in there as I come across them. So this is probably going to go in my junk jar. This I'll probably set in um, a fairy garden. It's broken, but it kind of looks like a broken fountain or something. I don't know. I think that'll be cute. So that's what those are for. Okay. So those were 50 cents. Then I got some Christmas things. I did pick up the little tree. This is so cute. So it's just a wood dowel and then they crocheted like three different you can take it apart. This comes off and they crocheted like three different sized, like they almost look like scrunchies. I don't know. It's four crocheted like discs sort of. And then you put them all together on the wood dowel and it makes this little Christmas tree. And this goes perfectly with my kind of vintage Christmas stuff that I do. I also recently, if you saw last week's video, I bought a red crocheted stocking. So that those will look cute together. So that's my little Christmas tree, which I thought was adorable. That was 50 cents. And I got the angel. Um, this isn't like actually, this is, it looks like a painted piece. Like someone went to, you know, a ceramics place um, and painted this, but he has a very like vintagey vibe, which I really liked. So I don't know, is, that, is that meant to hold a candle? Do you think? I don't know, but I thought he was really cute and sweet looking little choir boy. So that'll just go into my vintage Christmas. Then two other things I got for Christmas. Um, I'm also keeping, well, at least keeping one of them. I'm keeping this one because Molly and I thought it would be really cute for our cookie baking adventures. We have some Christmas aprons, but not enough for all of us. And we all get into the act. Um, and I do like the full size aprons because I'm a really messy baker. So, and that was only a dollar, I think. Yeah. That was a dollar. Oh, and at the sale, I did spend a total of 20. Actually, I spent 19 and I just donated them the extra dollar. So, and then I got this one. I, I'm not decided yet if I will keep this one or sell it. Not sure. It's pretty cute. Looks kind of small though, but it's also really cute. So I don't know. I haven't decided on this one. I might put it in the shop. I'm not sure, but I thought for a buck, it's a really good price. Um, okay. 
so that I think is it for Christmas. There might be one other little thing, but I'll get to it. But along with those aprons, I got an apron to sell, which I never do because I collect aprons. But I have one very similar to this that someone, one of you all sent to me. And so I'm going to keep mine and I will just put this in my shop. Um, just a little blue and white gingham and with the little embroidery. Is that embroidery? I don't know what you call that. There's a, there's a name for this. Someone tell me. I know there's a name for this type of stitching. I just can't remember what it is. But anyway, so that is for my little shop. Okay. Um, what else? I got this. It's one of those butter slicers. You know, I collect vintage cri uh, Christmas kitchen tools and I don't have one of these. I thought it was cool, 25 cents. I don't know that I'll ever use it. If I can ever actually find butter pats, I think that's what you do is you put a butter pat onto a little butter pat dish. Um, I never find them. Other people find them left and right, I do not. I think I saw one today, I mentioned that in the video, but it was chipped, so I wasn't gonna get that. But anyway, so I got that for 25 cents. I thought that was a great deal. I got this, I'm probably gonna hang this in my kitchen. I just like old things and I like that it looks used and it says pop and fresh pies. I don't know if that's like a brand, but it looked cute and vintagey to me and it'll go with my little farmhouse decor in my kitchen. Um, oh dear, don't break anything. Oh, okay. I got this for 50 cents. It's an ashtray. I'm buying lots of ashtrays, but I'm not taking up smoking. One of you suggested to me that you, or told me that you use ashtrays on your back porch or something or around your garden as little miniature bird baths which I think is like the cutest thing I've ever heard so that's what I'm going to do with this I thought it was a nice depth oh and don't worry a lot of you are worried in my recent thrifting video that I'm going to drown the birds I'm not drowning the birds I'm only going to make the, the bird bath water actually like you know they say like one to three inches um and you can put rocks that's why I was you know going to put rocks in there to bring the level up or a big rock you know whatever I haven't figured it out yet plus the depth of the fountain I need to figure all that out but the fountains are have not arrived yet anyway that's an aside related to my other thrift video um my thrifting video from this past week I can link it here if you haven't seen it but anyway so with this I'm going to put this somewhere on my back deck chickadees are my favorite because they're so little they're so adorable black cap chickadees if you're not sure what that is you should google it they are adorable birds these I got I think these are Christmas ornaments I'm gonna take them out of the bag they were 25 cents I'm gonna use them in my strawberry decor Oh, they're so cute. They're like these walnuts that someone crafted into strawberries. Like how creative is that? I just think it's adorable. I think that's what they're supposed to be. I'll probably stick them in a little bowl. That's what I'm thinking. But I just thought they were really cute and creative for 25 cents. Someone put a lot of work, of those, work into those. Ooh, and I love this. I love it because it has a flower frog. Um, so it's a pink bowl. It's a tea bowl. I don't know. The bowl doesn't do a ton for me, but I just like that it has this old flower frog kind of cemented into it. So I thought that was cool. So that will go in my flower frog collection. I don't have any plastic ones. I didn't even know they exist really. I'll try to wash it out a little, but 25 cents. How can you beat that? Okay. That's it for that bag. Oh, I got this for my bottle collection. It caught my eye because of the color. Um, now funny story. Uh, it had chili powder in it originally. So the color, <laughs> it might actually be clear glass, but just discolored because it, it held chili powder. I don't know. I can't really tell, but I'm not going to wash it out because I like the color of it. It's like, it's like peachy orange. Um, so I'm just going to put it on my shelf like this and I'm okay with that. If it's, if it's a little dirty and the dirt is giving it a nice color, that's just fine with me. Oh, so great it was such a great sale guys I got this which I love it's like I don't know is it just a wooden carved bowl I think that's what it is I'm gonna set it on one of my side tables and I don't know put something in it either flower frogs or moss mossy covered rocks that you can get from the Dollar Tree or some kind of decorative thing I don't know I just really like like this I just like it I like it it was $2. That was my, that was my big item for the day. And then I bought this. This was a quarter. Oh my gosh. It says VV. I'm sure it was like Vivian's or something. Vivian Victor's wooden spoon. And when she'd go to the, the church, uh, when she'd go to the church potlucks, oh gosh, I couldn't, I couldn't get the word. The church potlucks, I bet her spoons would go missing. And she finally just started writing on the handle. 
I always make up stories when I, when I see things like, why does it say VV? That's what I came up with. So anyway, okay. And then also at that sale, I think this is the last two things. I did pick up this basket. I actually picked up something similar. Um, I think it's a flower, uh, print, like pattern, I guess you would call it similar to this. So I'm going to set the two together. If that one is on a shelf inside and I'm going to put this one with it because I just thought they would look cool together. I, I don't know. They're just like, they're woven into these shapes. Oh, is that cool? 50, I think this is a quarter. I think it was a quarter. Okay. And then the last thing I got, this was also $2. I think, no, was it a dollar? I think this was a dollar. I only had one $2 item and it was that bowl. Um, do you guys remember Mrs. Butterworth? This was, this was a cross between, I loved this as a kid and it was mildly terrifying because in the commercials, Mrs. Butter, Butterworth would come alive, <laughs> which was always a little scary. But um, I love this because it totally reminds me of my childhood and those commercials. So that's why I got that. I'm just gonna set that in my kitchen somewhere. Maybe put some flowers in it just to be funny. But anyway, I thought Mrs. Butterworth was pretty cool. I have no idea when this is from, and I'm pretty sure that was a dollar. So, okay, that's all I have from that first sale. It's now raining, so I'm probably gonna wait till tomorrow morning, which, so right now it's Friday. I took Friday off so that I could yard sale. I'm gonna have to find something else to do with my time. Um, but Chris and I are definitely going in the morning. So let's head to the next sale, which actually won't happen till tomorrow. But in this video, it's gonna happen right now. I am so excited, we're at a yard sale but the neighborhood is having bulk trash day. Just pick this up, don't be alarmed. I have big plans. I'm so excited, this is the perfect size. I've been looking for something this size for my house. Okay, we're down in Jordan. I got that free cabinet on our way to Jordan. I think that was in Carver. Is that a town? Or is it's, that just a mm -hmm, county? That's a city. Carver, the city of Carver was having their bulk trash day. And so that's where I picked up the cabinet that you just saw. And we did stop um, at one other, actually we stopped at a few and there was nothing to film and really just nothing to buy. Stuff. A lot of baby stuff. And small kid things. Yeah. So now but we're at a really huge sale, which could be really great or it could be really terrible. It's like so much stuff. I'm like, were you hoarders? I don't know. So I'm going to try to film, but um, maybe I'll find some good stuff. Maybe Chris will find some hidden comic books. Maybe. Always That's hope. always the hope. All right. We'll take you in. Okay. It was in fact a hoarder sale. Um... And the only thing I picked up is this rack. This is the same rack that I have. Um, it looks crooked, it's not. It's just that it's set down crooked. This is a longer burger rack, and I have this in my kitchen. Jamie's been looking for one. This one looks like they might've used it outside, so it could use a fresh coat of paint. So I got it for her, my friend Jamie from Border Bananas. Um, and if she doesn't want it, I'll just find another use for it. But I didn't wanna leave it behind because I know she's been looking for one, so. We are headed to the country. We're following signs to another sale. Apparently, Jordan is having a citywide sale today, which we didn't know. We just happened upon signs. We saw signs the other day, and we're like, oh, we should go to Jordan. But we saw signs because it's a citywide, so there you go. But for, the, for you city-dwelling folk, look, it's a dirt road. <laughs> Okay, um, went to that other sale. I know I did not get a lot of footage. It's been really hard to film because we're not at big sales. Like, it's like you're the only person and you're all right up in their biz. And I, don't, I just don't like to do that. So anyway, but I did pick up the bird feeders. I got this one and I, I read online that with this kind of feeder, I could use black oiled sunflower seeds. So that's what I'm gonna put in here. And then I got two of the suet feeders, which I'm so annoyed. I just bought one of these much less cute at a pet store. So I'm gonna to try to return that. This one was 25 cents and this one was a dollar. And they're adorable because they look like houses. And then I bought a hummingbird feeder, but um, I broke one of the flowers. So it was $2. It's gorgeous, it's blown glass, and it had three flowers and then I broke one. Because it just like popped out. I didn't know that they pop out like that. So. We'll see if I can get something online or I'll just try to, try to like plug this, I think, so that not too much water gets in there. I guess that's the issue. I think that's the issue. 
Well, I guess water will get in here anyway, so I don't know. But either way, it's still pretty and hopefully the hummingbirds will like it. And um, yeah, so one of the broke, there's a broken piece of glass in there that I need to get out so that I can, you know, make it safe for the birdies. So anyway, but it is really pretty. And I'm sad that I broke the flower. Oh, well. okay. On to the next sale. Good, good. And then I almost forgot to show you. <laughs> I got myself a new pair of gardening gloves. I don't think they were ever used. Chris is modeling them for modeling. us. <laughs> well, they got like Spider-Man grip. Yeah, they have market. like this rubbery, rubberized grip stuff so that, you know, you have like good grip in the garden. So I did get another pair of gardening gloves, but they're a little like lighter duty. These are a little heavier duty, so. And they were only 50 cents, which is a really good price. Yep. Okay, now on to the next sale. This next sale was more of a vintage dealer, but he had a really cool collection of stuff. Oh, I think I had this bowl once. Where'd you go? I'm talking to myself. Mine was a little different, but similar. Different colors. Those are so cool. I wonder what the story is behind them. Oh yeah. Family reunion? Maybe. I like these drawers. Oh, oh I see. That was pretty smart. The handle broke off, so they put that on instead. So cool too. Some more printers, manufacturing stations. Hard index cabinet. Just striped preteen picture puzzle. ten dollars a piece it's a good it's a good price i love this thermos but i'm not spending ten dollars on it it's not a bad price i just don't want to spend ten dollars on it also i think oh that's an old pencil sharpener that's cool Scrapbook sometimes? Oh my gosh, that's so cool. American Builder. What are the scrapbooks? I don't know. Gotcha. Well, we start the thing at like 3 30. And we go to dinner at 5 30. What is this? Hemp and Company. Hmm? I was just. Is that a gas can or what? I don't are, know what that is. What are they for? Are, but I don't know what that one is. It's cool. Whatever it is. Mm -hmm. I always admire cast iron pans. I don't have any and I don't cook in them, but I kind of always have wanted to try. Oh my gosh. These are salt cellars, right? Right? Is that what these are? Cute. That'd be a nice junk jar, Chris. Mm -hmm. oh, I love that. Oh man, that's cute. I don't have anywhere to put it, but I do really like it. Box 
Okay, we're back in the car. I just ate a chip, that's why I'm crunching. That was a fantastic sale and I got a lot of stuff. I spent 19, I let the guy keep my change. I gave him a 20 because I said that's his tip because he had such cool stuff <laughs> and I know he undersold. Anyway, I'm gonna actually show you that haul when I get home because there's just a lot of stuff and I don't know, I feel like I need need things next to me because there was there's some good stuff. So anyway, we'll see you back at my house. I think we're gonna go maybe get some lunch and start heading back home. So. That way, yeah. Yeah. So. All right, see you later. Okay, it's actually the next morning. I'm sorry, it's kind of cloudy out. There's nothing I can do about that. Yesterday got so busy. We went to lunch and then we had to pick up the dogs. They got groomed and blah, blah, a million things to do. We went to Gabe's, um, a show that Gabe is in, in the evening. So I just didn't have time to film the haul part. But that sale that I went to was fantastic. It was like a junkers sale. I talked to the guy, he's been collecting stuff for years he has like outbuildings on his property where he has it all really cool and i think he probably does sales like this um maybe you know multiple times a year or something because like some of the things had older price tags on them which you'll see but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and show you what i got um i told you already i spent 19 dollars, but i really gave him a 20 as a tip <laughs> so the first thing i got i did pick up the cheese box and I'm gonna try to get this, I love the way this looks. I don't love the Welcome Friends. It's just very, you know, it's very 1980s country. It's just not my style. So I'm gonna see if I can sand that off and re-stain it. You maybe use a gel stain. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what I can do to get the paint off. But I think it's really cool. It's great for like putting underneath things. You can stack it under other cheese boxes to raise like a vignette up. You can, you know, use it to raise up baskets. You can use it to raise up a plant, all different things. But I'm probably gonna use it inside so it doesn't get ruined. Oh, what does it say? Boxes by Dufex from Denmark, Wisconsin. And I think that was $2. I could be wrong though. Okay, then I found, oh my gosh, to add to my collection, this cutie little creamer, 50 cents. It is like, if you look closely, it's cracked, but that's fine. I mean, there's like, it's like a hairline crack kind of thing, but I thought it was adorable. I don't have one that looks like this. So that will go into my restaurant wear personal creamer collection. I think it's adorable. And then I also got this for my old bottles collection. I'm being very selective about what I add, but I thought this was cool. I actually don't have a Vaseline bottle and this was only a dollar. And I love that it has like, the lid label still so and even some old Vaseline which I would never open this up because it just looks really gross which is Vaseline cheese bro cheese bro cheese brock New York a valuable family remedy for something sprains rheumatisms and diseases hemorrhages chillblains etc holy cow taken internally will relieve cough, sore throat, etc. Um, we no longer eat Vaseline. I do not advocate for eating Vaseline petroleum jelly. Do not take it internally. We know that now. So <laughs> anyway, that was a dollar. And then I got this. This had a bunch of railroad spikes in it, which I did not want, but I really wanted the can. So I went up and asked him and he charged me a dollar. I do not have I have several coffee cans. I don't have any that are blue and you know, I like blue. So I thought this was really cool and it'll be enabled to me to like decorate with coffee cans. Cause I usually put like a floral arrangement in them or like boxwood. Um, I just think it's cool and I love coffee. Uh, and my kitchen has sort of a subtle coffee theme in it. So it'll enable me to have something other than a red coffee can in my kitchen. So that was cool. And I also got this for a dollar. I love this. I think it's so cool. It's just an old like apron. Um, and it says Rubberoid Walker Lumber Company, Lowry Avenue, something north, and then the phone number. So I think this is cool. I'm not sure where I'll put it. I'm probably gonna try to wash it and get a little of the staining out of it, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I do with it. I just thought it was cool. Cause you know, I like old stuff. Uh, I, I don't know if I said this, but I think that was a dollar. And then I got this for a dollar. I just thought it was cute. And it goes with red, white, and blue. Um, so I thought it was adorable. And you could use it, but I don't know if I will. I just think it's cute. That was a buck. 
and what else? Um, oh, this was only $2. So I know I just got one from my friend Jamie, but I couldn't pass another one up for $2. I love using them as bookends or in a vignette as a bookend because then you can have a basket and then books like in the basket, which you normally can't do because they don't stand up. But then you put this and it helps them to stand up. I love that. And let's see. I got this stack. I think it was a dollar for four yardsticks. I don't know what I'm just going to put these in my craft room for now. You can make cool frames, different, lots of different projects. And I'm always like, oh, I wish I had old yardsticks. And now I do. So they are this. Oops, I bumped the camera. Sorry about that. This one says Ford. Um, this one's really cool. The fish stick. I guess it's for measuring your fish. From, let's see. Weigh your fish with a ruler. All right. And this one says Minnesota Agriculture surrounds you. It's from the Minnesota Farm Bureau. And this one says, thanks for shopping at Ward's, your appliance and tire center. Those are two funny things that don't usually go together, but okay. Appliances and tires. So that was a dollar. And then these were, oh, I bumped it again. I'm a terrible YouTuber today. Got it back. Get it back in the swing. Do you like the porch? It's not done. It's not done. Um, I was just kind of laying things out to see what I wanted to use. So this is the general look of it, but I'm, there's other things I'm still doing and these are not actually potted yet and there's no plan here, but this is what it's sort of going to look like. Oh, my star turned around. It's supposed to show. There we go. I don't know how it got turned around, but that's what that's supposed to look like. I know those cute. Anyway, uh, I don't know how I tangented off onto that, but, oh, I was saying I'm a terrible YouTuber. I'm getting back into the swing of recording outside. Okay, and then I got, I love old tool toolboxes. I like to put plants in them. I like to do vignettes in them. I use them for storage. So when I find them, I pick them up. This one's, these are really rough, but I just thought they were cool anyway. This one will be great for a vignette because it has the two levels. I love that with like, I know it sounds weird, but if you lay a doily over the edge and put some books, you can do like really cool vignettes. Vignettes are just like a way to be artistic with your decorative objects, you know. Um, people are like, it's clutter. I'm like, well, you don't do it because it's like minimalism. No one ever claims to do like decorative vignettes and be a minimalist, but I'm not trying to be a minimalist. Wow. People are like, you must love dusting. Yes, because everyone loves dusting. Put a good furnace filter on your furnace and you don't have to dust as much as people say. Like, it just doesn't get that dusty, you guys. Anyway, I'm still, I'm just chitty chatty today. I told you, in the morning I'm always chitty chatty because I haven't, like, used words on anyone yet. <laughs> okay, and this is the other one. This is also a dollar. This almost looks like a tackle box to me. It's fantastic, whatever it is. And I don't know what I'll use this one for. It's pretty rough, but, um... I could put it outside since it's already so rusty and like do some like pots of flout pot. I wouldn't plant in it, but maybe put little terracotta pots and then maybe some garden tools. That would be a cute outdoor vignette for a dollar. I was not going to leave it behind. So that will probably go on my back deck. All right. And I think, oh no, one more thing. One more thing. This was three. Oh no. Oh my gosh. A few more things. Holy cow. Okay. This was $3. I love it. It's just an old card file, but I really love it because it has the old advertising still in it. And it says, Stanford and Mann Limited, General Printers and P Manufacturing Stationers, Birmingham. When reordering, please quote 01. I don't know. I just think it's cool. You know. And then it says, Winnell Index Card. What does it say? Card Index Cabinet, manufactured in England. You know I love English. Thanks. So that was cool. Okay, but that was $3. The find of the day, I think, <clears throat> was this. So these are salt cellars, if you're not familiar. I just started collecting them. My family's coming out, like last year. This was $5 for this whole tray. The one I absolutely adore, I don't want to drop them, is this one. Oh, I don't have any colored ones. So I think that's just gorgeous. I would have paid $5 for that one. And then there's some that are duplicates because you used to have like sets of them and you would put them in front of like each guest is what I understand. So I'm just going to keep one from each set. I'm going to put the rest in my shop. I will easily make back my $20 on salt, salt, salt sellers, but I'm going to keep one of each 
And then these are really different. I'm probably gonna keep both of these. I don't know if these are, are these salt cellars? I don't know, you can tell me. But I thought those were really cool, really pretty. I'll probably keep both of those. And let's see, <clears throat> there's so many other ones. Oh, this is so cool. I love this. Really pretty, this says T and V, Limoges, at least say it wrong, France. That's really cool. I'll definitely keep that one. This just has like a little green on it. And some pink. Cool. And let's see. And there's a few of these. So I'll keep one of those. And there's a few of these. I think I have this one already, so I'll probably just sell these if I do if I do. There's like two of those. And oh! Did I show this already? I don't think so. That one. And then this one's kind of different. Didn't have that one. It's a little shit, but that's fine. That's fine. It's actually like inside broken. That's weird. Like you can't feel it, but you can see it. But I thought that was cool. <gasps> There's these two. I like this one. That's neat. And this one is kind of larger. So that doesn't really fit in my collection, although it's cool. I don't know. I'm not sure what I'll do with that one. Okay, so that's it. That's my $19 haul from that fantastic junk garage sale. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this week of Yard Sale Sundays. I'm doing this every week. I know these videos are not as popular as my other ones, but you know, I'm not here to just do things that are popular. YouTube is not my full-time job, which I guess some of you didn't realize, but yeah, no, I don't do a lot of YouTube. I actually do a lot of other things. <laughs> this is just something I do for fun. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I will have a thrift with me video sometime in the early part of the week. And until then, have a great week and I will see you soon. Bye. Bye.